MSD and area road crews have been preparing for this next big rain for months in an effort to avoid seeing a repeat of last year's historic flooding. Tonight, our Laura Barczewski is live in the Weather First Storm Tracker with more on those efforts. Laura. Mike and Ann, people who are driving on northbound I-55 may see a lane close between Bayless and Virginia. This is what I-55 looks like right now, and this is an area where they're expecting some flash flooding. There are quite a few flood areas we are keeping an eye on. I talked with MSD and the city of Brentwood about how they are preparing. The Metropolitan Sewer District spent Thursday cleaning out storm drains with what they call a vector truck so that water rushing through the streets has somewhere to go. This is essentially a truck with a giant vacuum on it um, and they were inspecting and cleaning storm drains. So uh, a lot of times storms will wash yard waste, leaves, branches, trash, uh, all kinds of things down into the storm drains and those can clog the drains so that they don't work efficiently. MSD says they have quite a few crews on standby to help in areas where issues pop up and while they're not a flood authority, there are some things they can do. Uh, so if you have water coming into your home through a basement drain or a low point in your house, absolutely give MSD a call. Um, if you see ponding around a storm drain, that's where you should give MSD a call. We'll come out and take care of it. And speaking of areas where water needs somewhere to go, the city of Brentwood says since the last major flooding event, they've spent a lot of money on creek cleanup. After the, the flooding events this past summer with all the damage to the businesses, um, we, the city of Brentwood, spent about a quarter of a million dollars to clean out Black Creek, a lot of the debris uh, that was causing this to, to, uh, to stop the flow of the water at Black Creek and thereby causing it to jump the banks. Brentwood Mayor David Dimmitt says they've completed 85% of their flood mitigation efforts through the project Brentwood Bound. In the last few weeks, they demoed a bridge causing problems for Deer Creek. Put in a new bridge, and the nice thing about the new bridge is it's taller and it's, it, we were able to widen the banks where the, where the new bridge is. So it kind of removes the bottleneck that was there with the old bridge. An important reminder, if you see standing water, turn around, don't drown. MSD has some tips for homeowners in case you have issues. You can find those on KSDK.com. You can see this right lane is closed. This is just after Bayless. And you can find all your weather information on KSDK.com. Reporting live from the Storm Tracker, Laura Barczewski, 5 on your side. Tonight, official.